Hey everyone, welcome to another How To Webflow. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be doing a text effect that someone was asking about on the Webflow forums. Uh, Nial said, I'm wondering if anyone knows how to do this text effect done on Beyond the Collection. And it looks like this. And I tried it out for myself and I was like, this has to be simple. And after building it, I was like, yeah, that's pretty simple. And I want to show you how simple it is. All right. So the ending product will look like this. And all it takes is a couple of elements, two text blocks, and one interaction for the scrolling. All right. So let's get learning. All right. So here's the page just to recap. As I scroll up and down, the text goes left and right, and it changes color, all right? So let's do this. We'll start from a blank page. First thing I'm going to do is drag in a container, and this container is just a placeholder, so we'll set the margin to like 500, all right? And then, all right, and then let's also give it some space at the bottom. I'm going to say 500 as well. So that way I can scroll up and down. I'm going to drag in a div inside of here. And this will be the thing. This is the, the thing that we're going to scroll up and down on. That will hold the content. And I'll make this thing like 800 pixels tall. So now I have a scroll thing. Okay. And let's add some margin at the bottom too. There we go. So we can scroll past it a bit. There we go. Okay, now this thing, uh, I'm going to have um, one of the pieces of text as uh, position absolute. So to get ready for that, I'm going to set this as relative. Now let's go ahead and put in another div. And this div needs to be in the very center. So I'm going to go back to the thing and make sure to set it to display flex, center, center. There we go. Now this div block, we're going to call it image holder because it's going to hold the image and let's make this a width of 500 and a height of 100 percent all right you can make this whatever you want now i'm going to set the background and guess what the image is going to be you knew it if you don't know me by now yeah <laughs> all right so it's the tesla model y now let's go ahead and put some text inside of here. I'm going to set this one to flex as well because I want the text to be centered horizontally and vertically. I'm going to drag in a text block inside of there. Type in Tesla, Tesla model Y. And we'll call this the white text. Make this bold. Make this white. And we'll make this ridiculously big with a line height of one dash. Now, there's this new uh, type options right here for breaking. So instead of letting it break naturally, I want to make sure that it doesn't break, it doesn't wrap. So I'm gonna go like this, and there we go. And now I don't want this white text going beyond the image holder. So I'm gonna go back to the image holder and set this to overflow hidden. Cool. All right, so next we need to put the black text. So I'm gonna copy this white text and I'm gonna to go to the thing and I'm gonna paste it. And now it's side by side, but I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on white text, duplicate the class and call it black text and change this color to black and set the position to absolute. And there we go. So this is targeting the thing okay and now um this is on top of the uh, white so i have to push this down so i'm going to press down on the z index so we're almost there you can see that we're almost there okay so now all we have to do is add our uh interaction okay so it's a scroll interaction and let's do this we're going to click on the thing we're going to add the element trigger to the thing Go to interactions while scrolling in view, select action, play a new one, create a new one. And the first thing we're going to target is this white text. So at zero, let's move it 
Let's move it negative 200. Ah, no. I don't want the Y to go away. So let's do right there. Let's go an easy number, negative 100. And then at 100%, it goes positive 100. Okay. And now we can select black text and move and do the same exact thing, negative 100. And then plus move positive 100 all on the x-axis, okay? And that's it. So if I preview, scroll up and down, it is not that hard to do. All right, so recap, here we go, recap. What I did was I added a container and added some space so I can have some scrolling, added a thing, added more space at the bottom so I, so I can have scrolling. Um, and this thing has a position of relative. I made an image holder that holds the image, made sure that the overflow was hidden, and I set the width and height to whatever I want, gave it the background of the image. I put a white text inside of here, which is centered by Flexbox of the parent, which is here. White text, copied this, put black text inside of the thing, and give it a position of absolute in Z index negative one, which pushes it back and give it a different color of black, made sure that the breaking was no wrap and then added a element trigger for the thing scrolling up and down. And so white text on the X axis, negative 100 pixels, hundred percent goes to hundred pixels and same thing with the black text really easy i mean right simple yeah you like it i love it hopefully this helps and that's it let me know what you think about this video if you have a comment please leave it below if you want to support me go ahead and click the subscribe the like and the notification bell you can follow me on twitter at the pixel geek that's about it for this tutorial hope to see you in the next one and as always make the web beautiful together see ya